Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Knife Standards. Today I have three knives to unbox. And I'm kind of re-unboxing one of them because I've already been using this guy um, quite a bit today actually. So um, I put it back in the box to show you guys how it comes. But we will get into all three of those in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can check me out on Instagram. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, of course, and all of my designs. Got milled clips, RR stations, the expresses are dropping soon, and RR3s. That is all at knifestandards.com. All right, cool. So, oh, by the way, this guy is still for sale. Um, I think I paid three, I don't know, three something for it, selling this for 200. So, pretty minty condition. Let me know if you are interested. And I think that is just about it. Let's get into it. So, Let's start with this guy in from Devo, left EDC. You guys know Kev. We got the Nip Light. Very cool. So I've been wanting to check this out. Um, I actually have um, the, I guess just the regular Nip. It's the purple uh, and black kind of camo carbon. Really, really sick. I bought that actually a year ago. I think it was a year ago at... Blade Show? Yeah, I think it was Blade Show West. Wow, that's crazy. It's been that long, but um, I think that's when it was. Anyway, super cool knife. Um, very small and fidgety. So let's check it out. This is blue aluminum. This is probably my favorite color. Um, this kind of just like strong. It even looks more royal blue um, on camera, but in person, it's more of like a almost like a metallic blue. But yeah, aluminum scales, nice. Got a little belt satin action going. Hollow ground, liner lock, steel liners, 154 CM blade steel. Oh yeah, nice. You can give it a little flick. Really cool, I love the wire clip. Little kind of minimal flipper tab, works really well. Big choil, fits my hand great. Um, Lanyard hole, if you're into that. Or not really a lanyard hole, but lanyard area. Yeah, I think you gotta use the choil if you have, my hands are kind of small. If you have normal, <laughs> normal sized hands or even small, you kind of want to get up there, but then the jimping fits, so you're supposed to be right up in there. A Little bit of jimping, really nice. This is cool, awesome design, very sick. Thank you, Kiv. And of course, Colin, the other half of Devo Knives. We'll get that aside. Next up, something from CMB Made Knives. Sounds really familiar, CMB, why do I know that? Maybe they're like a subsidiary or like another like offshoot of a company. Um, what do we got in here? Sebastian Erewhon Devourer, Devourer, Devourer? Okay. Hardness, 58 to 62. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that's not encouraging. All right. And the reason that's not encouraging is because that's a crazy wide range. Four, four, like 58 to 62. That's, I mean, what, what is it? What, is there that much variation? What's the, I don't want to sound like too much of a downer, but what, you know, come on. So I'm assuming this is just on the softer side of M3, it's M390, right? Yeah, I'm just assuming this is gonna be 50, 58. I don't know. Um, we need transparent knives to test it. Um, this is not my jam. <laughs> it actually reminds me of that, the one I had in from Civivi. Okay, so it is... Okay, button lock. It's a big, this is a big ass knife. Give me a middle finger flick it. Yeah. It's actually surprisingly comfortable, but this is a very large knife. M3, yeah, just, it's flat ground, cool blade shape. I'm not a huge fan of these kind of, this kind of looks like um, Reich, like Reich knives made it. I mean, Action's solid. It's, it's you know, I don't really, I'm not going to spine whack it, but I'm really tempted. Just, 
Um, no button, no button stick, which is nice. That's actually a rare occurrence these days on button locks. Centering's great. This is it's interesting. It's not it's not really my jam. Um, and the HRC fifty eight to sixty two. Just just pick if it's fifty eight to sixty, fine. Just put that. But you know you're hoping that it's sixty two. I, I mean, like I don't I don't get it. Anyway, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Moving on to I think the real star of the show. Um, I opened this one up, I had some packages and some boxes to destroy, so I opened this guy up, and I thought I would test it out, and it's really cool. This is the Giant Mouse, oh my gosh, what's the name? See, they just put GMSP. Oh. Yeah, I think that they need to put the names on here. Oh, there, there we go. Rio, the Rio, pretty, yeah, it's kind of dirty, I gotta clean, this is going to another reviewer, so I will wipe that down before I send it off, um, it is a large knife, you can middle finger flick it, it's in Magna Cut, I have no idea who makes, well, who the OEM is, um, I think it might be, like line steel or, or somewhere, I, I think it's, is it Italian made? I wonder if it says on here. I don't know, but um, so I'm not sure what the HRC is for the Magna Cut. Nice crown spine. Eh, almost, well, yeah, kind of. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Uh, frame lock, cool pattern, um, full flat grind. It was extremely slicey through cardboard. And this pattern is really cool. The texture feels great. It is not sharp. I'm talking about the texture on the titanium handle. Got a little backspacer. Yes, there is a spot for your lanyard holes, all you lanyard freaks out there. Wire clip. Um, we got the pivot collar that is, I thought it was an over travel stop, but no. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I guess so. Eh, I'd have to take it apart. No, I, I don't... Well, yeah, there is an overtail stop. No, I don't know. I thought that this was going to interact with the pivot collar so the lock bar doesn't get um, too, you know, bent out of whack. But um, anyway, you can thumb flick it. Sharpening trail is... Plunge grind is... Eh, it's okay. All right, action, pretty smooth. But again, um, this was fun to use. Really super easy through cardboard. I think this is, it's interesting that they have this side of the screw on the clip side and then this the tooled side on the show side. The detent could be a little bit stronger. The hole is, is a tiny bit awkward to flick, but it works. Reversible clip. Um, ergos are nice. I do feel the clip, this, this part of the wire clip kind of sticks up a little bit too much for my liking, because it is a pretty thin knife, so it feels, feels nice and maneuverable in hand. I think this is cool. Um, I think this might be my favorite giant mouse yet. So take that for what it's worth. And, um, I will be back very soon with some cool announcements. Uh, there is a drop coming, um, very soon. So make sure you sign up for my email list. Instagram uh, will be getting less and less updates and it'll be mostly YouTube and email list. All right, guys, that just about wraps it up. I will catch you later.